I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today, and today is wash day. Well, not for my hair this time. I think you guys have seen me in the shower enough this month, but it's wash day for all of my makeup brushes. Now, I have a confession for you guys. I don't clean my makeup brushes as much as I should. I know, it's really bad. By not cleaning my makeup brushes, I'm leaving all of the oils and bacteria and dirt just all on my brush and then rubbing it on my face every day. Don't do that. Wash your brushes at least once a week. So these brushes are filthy, dirty, like they probably have some type of disease on them. But for once, I'm actually excited to wash them because I have something new for you guys to try. The new Sigma Spa Express brush cleaning mat. I've seen so many YouTube videos on girls cleaning their brushes with this mat and after I saw it, I really wanted one. So I contacted them and they sent me one. So today I'm gonna do an unboxing, tutorial, demonstration review of this mat. So let's get started. I'm gonna take it out of this plastic container that it came in. And just so you guys know, Sigma actually has a couple of these cleaning tools. They have a glove that you just literally slide on your hand. They have a larger version of this one. They have like a really mini one, uh, a mini glove. There's like four or five of them, but this one is their smaller, this is suction cups are very legit. So this is the smaller cleaning brush. They have one that's larger than this, but a lot of people were saying it didn't fit in their sink, so they're having some trouble with it. So now this one's even more portable and smaller than the last one. So let's examine this thing. It has suction cups on the back, so now it'll stick to your sink without slipping. And then it has a couple different sections on here, which I'll probably will show you in a close-up when we actually start to wash. So this can be used on your eye brushes and your face brushes. And then it shows you exactly how to do it, but I'm just gonna show you in this video because who wants to read, right? That's why we're on YouTube. So let's head to the bathroom and get these babies clean. What we're gonna need is our mat, our dirty brushes, and I like to use an antibacterial dishwashing liquid soap, and we're gonna need some shampoo. <laughs> You think I'm about to use my Shea Moisture on my brushes? No, no, no. We're gonna use some basic whatever suave shampoo, whatever you guys have. So now we're gonna grab our mat, look for the curved part. We're gonna put that right underneath the drain. Then you're gonna push down so all the suction cups then attach to the sink so that it's not moving around while we're cleaning our brushes. Oh, and excuse my Halloween nails. I know Halloween is now over. Let's go over all the sections. So on this side, we have the wash face. On the other side, we have wash eyes. And then we also have the rinse eyes at the top and rinse face as well. This is where we will get all of the suds off our brushes. Then after that, we're gonna move down to the refine section. This will give an even deeper clean. And for an even deeper clean, we're gonna go to the refine plus face or the refine plus eyes. I'm gonna start off with my dirty powder brush and I'm going to rinse it under lukewarm water. And then I'm gonna add the liquid dishwashing soap. And then we're going to rub it in a circular motion in the wash face section. This is getting rid of all the bacteria and the dirt, but I like to take it one step further and add some shampoo. So I'm gonna add some shampoo and of course I'm making a mess, but we're gonna keep washing in the wash face section. Once you feel like you got all the makeup off, we're going to then move to the rinse face. So you move this in an up and down motion and you'll notice more of the suds will be coming off. Feel free to turn on the water so that we can remove all the soap and dirt out of the area. Then we're gonna move down to the refined section for an even deeper clean and then we're gonna move to the refined plus face for that final cleanse. Then you squeeze out any excess water and look at that, your brush is looking brand new. Now let's do the same exact thing with our eye makeup brushes, but on the other side of the mat. After a few brushes, I realized it was easier just to pour the dishwashing soap and the shampoo straight onto the mat before washing my brushes. All my brushes are so super clean now and I'm very, very impressed. Now it's just time to wash off our mat. So now that all of our brushes are beautiful again, you can lay them down on a towel to dry. 
But are you guys ready for the best Pinterest beauty trick ever? Well, when your brushes are wet, you shouldn't leave them facing up because then all the water will drain down into the glue, which is holding all the bristles together. So instead, the best way to do is actually have them dry upside down. But how, you ask? By using your towel rack. All you need is a towel rack and some scrunchies. So now you grab your brush and your scrunchie, and then you just put the brush behind the towel rack. Then you grab the scrunchie and pull it over the top to lock it in place. And voila, you have your homemade drying brush rack. You also can put the brush in the front and pull the scrunchie over the top, whatever works, as long as they're hanging upside down. Isn't that beautiful? So that is how you use the Express Brush Cleaning Mat. I will be using this a lot more because my brushes should never get as dirty as they were. And as you saw, I did use dishwashing liquid and shampoo, but there's a million different ways you can clean your brushes. Some girls use olive oil, some actually have a cleaning brush solution. So if you guys have any tips and tricks, leave me a comment, let me know what you use to clean your brushes. And if you wanna get one of these mats yourself, these are only $25. The bigger ones are 35, and then the glove, I think it's a little bit more than that. But I think you only need the little one. I mean, unless you made it like a group activity and you and your friends were all cleaning your brushes, I don't see why you need the bigger one. I would just go with the smaller Express one. And I will put the link down in the description box in case you guys are too lazy to type in sigmabeauty.com. But I would recommend this. My brushes are super clean and it was much better than using my palm. Before you go, please give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday. And if you are one of my subscribers, I will be posting more product reviews just like this one. I know I've been so loyal to Shea Moisture, but I know there's other products out there in the world, so I'm, I'm gonna branch out from just doing Shea Moisture products. So leave me a comment, let me know what products you want me to try or what products you like best that you think I should try, and we will just do you know, as many products as we can. Well, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.